Championships. It's a semifinal matchup between the Mass Bay Buccaneers and the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. All right, welcome in everybody to Massasoit Community College here in Brockton, Massachusetts. I'm David Cardoza, and alongside me is none other than the, than the infamous Portuguese cowboy himself, Mr. Craig Salvador. Craig, it's like deja vu all over again. Last week we were here for the uh, for the M MCC AC uh, State Championships, and it was these same two teams. Uh, the Bayhawks lost in a heartbreaker last week in a final. It, went, it was a nitty-gritty game between Mass Bay and the Bayhawks, and uh, Zach LeBotwitz broke their hearts in the final seconds. And now we have the rematch here today, and um, this is what it's all about right here, the New England Regional Championships. The winner of this game plays tomorrow for the New England Championship, and if, if they win, whoever wins tomorrow's game is going to Minnesota. But definitely, a big thing with the Bayhawks today is now that they do have a full squad here today. Remember, last week they didn't have Desmond Jernigan, and Desmond Jernigan has been a vital asset to this team, bringing him to this stage, and he wasn't able to make it last week. So that did allow the, uh, Mass Bay to pull off the victory and the upset. What everyone thought that uh, BCC was going to easily pull away from Mass Bay, move on to the championship, and as we know, that didn't happen. And Desmond Jernigan is a huge, he's huge in the paint and huge on the boards, as we all know. And the Bayhawks, they got out-rebounded in last week's game, 38-22. to As we go down, as the starting lineups are being introduced right now, the Bayhawks are being introduced. So we'll take it down there. This game being live stream on the Bristol Community College Athletics page, Facebook Live. The Bayhawks finishing number two in the region, finishing with a regular season record of 17 and four. They're 17 and five now with last week's loss. Mass Bay comes into this game, the number three team in region 21 in the, in the New England region, 17 and 12, 13 and seven in region 21. So it's the Bristol Community College Bayhawks at Mass Bay. Get ready to tip off. Bunker Hill already won the, already won the first game of the semifinals. And it's been a great season for the Bayhawks. They've really earned this position. Um, it's, been a, it's been a long season. They've earned it. You think about every single practice. You know, you think about every single game. You know, they've, they've really earned this right to be here. They tied with Bunker Hill record-wise in our Region 21. And we're going to get ready for a tip-off here. Bayhawks. Looking to get revenge, looking to get sweet revenge. And the Mass Bay Buc Buccaneers get the tip. And there's a little red-headed ant himself, Zach Lebowitz. BCC coming out in their patented man-to-man. -man. Zach Lebowitz was a big thorn, a big thorn in the side of BCC in the last game. He's looking to get a repeat performance. He sure was, and as you say that, Craig, Mass Bay with the score. And that's gonna be Number 20, we didn't see him last, well actually, I'm sorry, that's number 50, Raheem McCoy. We didn't see him in the last game. No, now Mass Bay having more bodies again. Yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be, could be big for them. And Raheem McCoy goes six foot four. He's a sophomore from Dorchester, Massachusetts. Misses the free throw, had a chance at a three-point play. Here comes BCC. Again, the broadcast live from Massasoit Community College. Your home for the New England Regional Championships. Loose ball. Lebowitz with a steal. Mistakes early on. Jimenez Fox goes up with the left hand with a, and a miss. Rebound by Mercado. Up ahead, Mendez gets it blocked. What a block on the trail play by Cameron Jimenez Fox. And it's going to be Mass Bay basketball. Went off, it went off the Bayhawks. That was a close play, and we did see that last game against Mass Bay. Was uh, Bayhawks had wide open shots, and they just couldn't sink them, whether they were layups or three-pointers. The three-pointer was um, really BCC's kryptonite throughout the whole thing. They were just tossing brick after brick after brick. Couldn't get anything to fall. Well, Craig, you say that, and you know what? Both teams actually didn't shoot pretty shoot well at all. Both teams actually, I was looking at it, both teams actually shot in the 40s, around 45 46%. Both teams didn't shoot that great from the field, if you remember. I mean, the, the score was 26 to 25 at halftime, and that was putrid, putrid performance 
shooting-wise by both teams, but Mass Bay grinded out the victory. Yeah, and if you remember with the three-pointers, if you remember towards the end of the game, Justin Davis was going off with them. So number five in blue will be someone to look out for throughout this game. Well, you also get to look for Cameron Jimenez Fox. There he is down the post. I really, just look for both of the Jimenez Foxes. Well, Bawitz with the basketball. Driving to his left. Davis puts it up. It's good. I'm sorry, Jerome Hardy. Jerome Hardy goes at six foot four. He's a freshman. Going back the other way, landed in is Jose Mercado. Sporting the man bun today. Or whatever that is. Wouldn't say it's a man bun. I think it's just a loose headband. <laughs> it's something. Fox kicks it back out. Oh. And Mass Bay will turn it over. Goes off Lobotwitz. Lobotwitz not really paying attention. Couldn't hang on to it. Cameron Jimenez Fox in the last game had 20 points. His brother, his little brother Kyle Jimenez Fox, didn't realize he's six foot three. Yeah, both of them, they have size on them. They both do have size. Kyle Jimenez Fox had 15. Baker back out. Jose Mercado for three off the top of the backboard. Rebounded by the younger Jimenez Fox. Jimenez Fox two on one. Gets it to Lobotowitz, he'll miss it. Here comes Mercado. Well, Mercado had a nice move, but just lost it out of his fingertips. Remember last game, Jose Mercado, he was doing everything except shooting threes. Yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't able to hit from the outside. Hopefully that can change. It can't get any worse for Jose Mercado. Jose Mercado had a huge shot in the last game. Uh, down the stretch, BCC came back from an, uh, being down nine late in the game, and Jose Mercado tied the game with a huge three, and then Zach Lebowitz drained a shot with nearly five seconds left. That, was, that happened to be the game winner. Mercado drives. Oh, flips it up. Nice finger roll. George Gervin would be proud. Jose Mercado with the lay-in. And he's getting it going. Four to four early on. 17.36 left to play. We're just getting started. A long pass. Steal by Mercado. And again, he's doing everything. Coast to coast. Puts it up with the right hand. Wow. Gets his own gets his rebound. Own. Yes, he does. And puts it up and in. Mercado. All six points early on for the Bayhawks. Little unorthodox, but you'll take the points any way you can. Nice job by Jose Mercado following his shot. BCC looking to avenge last week's loss. Cameron Jimenez Fox misses. Mendez looks up. Mendez up to Pope. Pope puts it up and in out the glass. Quincy Pope. And there's going to be a timeout. The timeout's going to be on Mass Bay. And the Bayhawks coming out a lot better, a lot stronger than they did and last week's semifinal in the MCC-AC tournament. It's good to see Quincy Pope score. He was quite absent last game, although playing, he didn't play that great. So it's good to see a great play by Quincy Pope right there. And Quincy Pope is one of their top scorers, Craig, as you know. So the addition of him, if he can get asserted and start asserting himself on the offensive end like you know we can, and also with the addition again of, of Desmond Jernigan, who's been one of, one of, kind of one of the unsung heroes for this team. Desmond Jernigan is, you know, He's almost like that seventh man, like the like the, the like the seventh, like you heard like the seventh man award. He's like that guy, a guy who gets it done, but kind of goes a little bit under the radar. We've seen him win some games for BCC. You know, he's had some big shots for them. He's had some big games for them, and they really missed his presence last week on the board. So good to see him back out there. And speaking of under the radar, Luis Rosario was really the out of nowhere player last week, showing off some good plays. He sure did. He came up big in that game. Not sure how much we're going to see him this game, but again, last week, he was big. Labot was, oh, that was up and in. Cameron Jimenez Fox gets it, to, gets it to his brother Kyle, but he'll miss it. Here's Marcus McCarthy. Marcus McCarthy with a nice bounce pass to Ricardo. Splits the defense. Bounce pass to Ricardo. Lays it up and in. 10 to 4, BCC coming out quickly. And Marcus McCarthy is the master of the assist on this team. He's throwing, he throws dimes after dimes. He sure does. This is weird. Hardy for three. Not good. Rebounded by Fox. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul on Kyle Jimenez Fox. Isn't it weird to see Cameron Jimenez Fox, who stands at 6'5", usually they're dumping the ball into him. Cameron trying to dump it into his brother, Kyle. And Kyle's having late reactions with these. He, you see, it kind of looks like he's, he should be going up sooner than he actually is, and it's not working for him. Yeah, they're, they're missing some easy baskets down low, something that BCC was doing last week. Nice pass by Baker. The turnaround by 
Mendes couldn't get it in. Almost worked. It was a good no look from Baker. They're going to call a travel for Lobotwitz. Lobotwitz so quick and too quick for his own good traveling on that three-pointer. The little red-headed in, I call him. Because he's just such a pest. Exactly. Mass Bay in that 2-3 zone. A 2-3 zone that really affected BCC last week. We've seen it throughout the season. BCC struggling with zone on offense as Mendez oh, breaking jump. it. Yes. Dan Mendez, great rotation from the elbow. BCC up 12-4 on an 8-0 run. Danny Mendez, one of BCC's best shooters, and he's showing that reason there. Yes, he is. And that's charging. I was talking to Zach, and, and that, that's a charge. Going to be an offensive foul called on Mass Bay. BCC with all the momentum. Craig, I was talking to Zach Lobot Lobotowitz's father last week, and he said that um, he respects Dan Mendes' game. Uh, that, that being Zach Lobotowitz, I guess him and Dan Mendes, they really like competing against each other. They really have similar games, both very quick on their feet. So a lot of respect there. And this Fox almost got it away from McCarthy. Ricardo puts it up off the glass and in. Ricardo being assertive. They're calling steps. Wow. And he made that shot, but it doesn't count. You know, last week in the MCCAC tournament, as we know, Mass Bay got the upset victory. And that's all great and all. It's a tournament that I know that, that's a loot of BCC, and it's a, it's a very respected tournament to win. And they lost, they lost that game, but this is what it's all about. Mendes for three. Cha-ching! Money! Men, money Mendes! For three. Smooth as butter is Mendez's release. Call him smooth as butter, call him money Mendez. And Mendez was struggling with his shot last week. So far, so good for him. Wow. Mendez almost tripped over himself. Well, he did trip over himself, but he did get it away momentarily. And another turnover. This looks like a totally different Mass Bay team. A Mass Bay team that stymied Put to sleep the Bayhawks last week. Kind of rock a bye baby, rock a bye baby them to bed on the offensive end when they were on their offense. Here comes a trap. What's interesting is they're pretty much the same lineups as last week. It sure is. It's just role reversal. Mercado staying with it, puts it in. And he's pumped up about it. He has 12 of the 19 points for BCC. Wow. This yep. is a different team. Jose Mercado has found a new profession being the down under man. <laughs> the what thunder from down under. It is working beautifully for him. And so Monty Baker gets a rebound. This is something we're seeing oh. BCC do is they're getting more rebounds than a Mass Bay, which was the exact opposite of last week. And you think about how they got out rebounded and out hustled and out muscled last week. Be the Mass Bay was, they were beast. They were beast all over the boards last week. Mass Bay has the height. You talk about Cameron Jimenez Fox, one of the best players in the country. And you talk about him being six foot five, and you got Hardy, who's six four. Fall away jumper by Mercado. Boy, if that went in, goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. Labawitz with the rebound. Fox needs to get it going. Back out. Champagne. Oh, nice, oh, nice play. Mm -hmm. Nice bounce pass by Kyle to his brother Cameron. Yeah, it Kyle. all started up the top there, Craig. Yeah, Kyle really faking out his defender, just looking like he's going to throw it up and just bounce pass it. Nice, yeah, nice little sneaky bounce pass, but it all started with McCoy at the top. Baker going baseline, and he's going to get fouled. And he's going to go to the line for two, it looks like. And Armani Baker, one of the most deadly foul shooters on this Bayhawks team. I never heard of a foul shooter being deadly before, but we'll take it. <laughs> but he is. If there anyone is, he is. Well, Baker, he leads the Bayhawks in all kinds of categories. Leads them in scoring. When the top, when the top scorers, I mean, he averages one of the top scorers in, uh, in Region 21. He averages a double-double. He's a two-year starter. He's the Baker man. He was on last year's team that went to the regional final against Bunker Hill. And if the Bayhawks win today, they'll face that Bunker Hill team and look to avenge 
a loss last year against Bunker Hill in the championship game. That's the matchup that we want to see. It's the matchup we wanted last week. It's the dream matchup. Labawitz dumps it in to Hardy, pounds it, puts it about the glass, and... They're calling an offensive foul They're going to call an offensive foul. So no points. And it's you another know, turnover to go for BCC. Well, rightfully so, right? Because, I mean, he, he kind of went up kind of wildly. He turned his body right in, right into the BCC defender. Who took that charge? Is that Baker? I think it might have been. Either way, turnover. McCarthy. Jumper's good. Looked like he wanted to pass it out there. Kind of was in like mid-jump, but he puts it up and in. Going back to his box. Mass Bay all out of sorts right now. That foul is going to be on Marcus McCarthy, they're saying. Mar Marcus McCarthy, number 23 out there. With number one, Danny Mendez. Desmond Jernigan now in the game. Desmond Jernigan, number four. Quincy Pope, number 13. Uh, Armani Baker, number 14. Those are, that's who's on the court right now for the Bayhawks. Setting the pick, Jernigan. They'll get in the corner. Pope thought about it. Pope driving. Jumper from the free throw line. Gets it, gets it tipped away. That block was by McCoy. Cameron, him and his box. Can't get anything going right now. Oh, I thought, I thought about I thought, a deep yeah, I thought, three. Yeah, they thought about currying it. Oh, nice turn, nice, nice post move by McCoy. It's going to be a jump ball. Yep, and it's going to be BCC basketball. Another turnover. We talked about a few plays ago with Marcus McCarthy. When he went up, did that turn look, and then shot it. What I like about that was he was looking to pass. That was his initial instinct. And that just goes to show how unselfish of a player Marcus McCarthy is. And, and what, a, what a great job for him to be, be like in mid-thought, mid-pass, and then put the jumper up in the, put the little mini jumper in the lane and sink it. Great, great wherewithal. We McCarthy. always, we always praise his court awareness. Yeah. He's a general out there. Here's McCarthy right now. Gets it into the paint. Ooh, look to pass it into Jernigan. Get it deflected. It's going to but, no man's land. Oh my goodness! What are the Bay? What are the uh, what are the Buccaneers doing? BCC gets the ball, basketball right back. Did someone steal the Buccaneers jerseys and just go out as them? Like this is a completely I, I different yeah, team. You know what? Yeah. But you know what? BCC they're attacking that zone now. They're they're throwing nice crisp passes. They're 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 moving the ball around. They're really. They're really working that zone now. And Ricardo throws that ball out of bounds. Pope tried to track it down, couldn't get to it fast enough. BCC with a 23 to six lead, looking like a totally different team. They're almost matched their total of last week in the first half when they scored 26 points. And we're not even, we're not even halfway through the, uh, the first half yet. 11-19 left to play as Cardoza and the Cowboy. And you're watching this game right now on Facebook Live. If you're watching this right now and being live stream on Facebook Live on the Bristol Community College Athletics page. What you got to think with, we were talking about these teams looking completely different. Rob Dell Lewis had an entire week knowing that this is going to be the team that they're facing. So you'd think that they know how to attack that zone. They've been planning it throughout the entire week, and they're really coming to show it. And you got to think about how seriously they took. I mean, I know they took last week serious because I know Rob Del Lue, I know he wants to win that Mass State tournament. It's a pretty prestigious tournament. It's a tournament that he wants to win. It's the precursor to the regionals, the New England regionals, and you want to be playing your best basketball and all that. And, you know, you want to win every game you play. But you got to think about how much of his hand that he showed last week because it looks like this is what it's all about right here. It's a semifinal. The whole goal is to make it to Minnesota and have a chance to play for a national championship. I don't think Rob Dell Lewis showed all his cards last week. Or getting it inside. Cameron Himmitis Fox all over Mercado. Oh, Cameron Fox works it in. 23 to 8. And the Fox brothers not too big in this game so far. Looking not more so like far. the, Ooh, McCarthy like the Pop brothers. Oh, McCoy throws that way out of bounds. As Kyle Jimenez-Fox swats that away. 
way too strong. McCoy looking like a quarterback back there, but pass was way overthrown, looking like Cam Newton out there. Cam Newton this year, Cam Newton last year. Cam Newton this year, exactly. judging by the throw. Mm -hmm. He did not dab on him, though. <laughs> did not have the right to. No, he did not have the right to dab on anything. No. McCarthy gets it inside. Jernigan puts it above the glass, tips it, and there it is. This they're going to no wave shot. it off. They're going to wave it off. And they're going to call over the back. They're going to call a foul on Jernigan, I believe. And that is exactly what they're doing. They're going to have they call a foul on Jernigan, but you can see right there, Jernigan keeps so he, he keeps so many balls alive on the glass. He attacks the glass. He keeps balls alive. And he just, he causes havoc. We talked about him being kind of like a mirror image to Armani Baker. A little bit. Well, ball was looking to drive from the free throw line. Puts it up, no good. That fall away shot, not the shot that you want if you're Mouse Bay. Mendes, oh. Uh -oh. Mendes loses control of the ball and then he throws it out of bounds. Yeah, McCarthy going one way, the ball going the other way. Couldn't stop on a dime, couldn't get to it. Yeah, McCarthy not happy about it. But well, BCC has a good cushion, good cushion. It's cold outside, but it's heating up inside for the Bayhawks right now, 23 to eight. Man, is it cold out there, painfully cold. Cameron Jimenez Fox works it up and in. Cameron Jimenez Fox trying to get going a little bit. You get inside to him, man, he, he's got a good inside outside game. Stand at six foot five, he could do it all. BCC works it around the perimeter. McCarthy swings it over to Mendes. Mendes try to get inside of Jernigan. Another turnover. Mendes with two turnovers on consecutive trips. McCoy completes this pass to, to Lobotwitz. It was really just a lucky catch from Lobotwitz. Yeah, good stop. Here's a short jumper. No good. Air ball. And oh, then. Did you see what Marcus oh, McCarthy, McCarthy just did? Oh, Marcus McCarthy throwing it off McCoy. It's very smart, very smart move. It's not going to get him any friends, but it's very smart move for Marcus McCarthy. Marcus McCarthy always with the heads up play. Mass Bay sits in that 2-3 zone with Rasheem McCoy in the middle. He wasn't there last week, the six foot four sophomore. He's here. Mercado turns around right in McCoy's face, no good. Rebounded by Colin Myers. Colin Myers for three, no good. Rebound by Ricardo. Here comes Jose. Jose kicks it back out. Mendes sitting back there for three, no good. Pope the rebound. McCarthy, and he's got a double dribble, and he did. The championship game is tomorrow. Bunker Hill has already stamped their ticket. They've already stamped their ticket into tomorrow's regional championship game for Region 21, the New England region. And that game will be at 2 o'clock tomorrow. The winner of this game will play against Bunker Hill, the defending champions. You know that Kyle Jimenez Fox for three. No. Rebounded by his Cameron brother, Cameron. It. Mercado doesn't have the numbers. He's going to look nice for Jernigan. Pass. Jernigan got blocked. That was a clean block. You know who we haven't seen that much of, or we haven't said his name, is Justin Davis, who played a big role in uh, last, last week's game, and also Sebastian Dennis. Dennis. We saw Justin Davis primarily in the late half of um, the second half last game, just going off with the threes. But again, been kept quiet, as is many of Mass Bay's players. Yeah, as Jernigan loses it. Even guys we couldn't stop talking about, like the Menace Fox brothers, they haven't really been showing up lately. But even last week, Mass Bay, a lot of different guys contributed in that game. Everybody contributed. This is like between two guys. McCoy from the elbow. That's way off. Not a shot you want. Rebounded by Jimenez Fox off the mark. Well, and Kyle trying to steal it just tips it out of bounds. So this is still going to be the Bayhawks ball. It is going to be Bayhawks ball. Both teams really not in foul trouble. The guests. The, um... Mass Bay 
with five team fouls. BCC only with three. 23 to 10, 13 point lead. We'll keep it right here. We're at Massasoit Community College here in Brockton, Massachusetts. It's uh, BCC, the Bristol Community College Bayhawks, and Mass Bay Buccaneers in a rematch of last week's MCCAC semifinal. And this is like a totally different. This is like a totally different story. What have you seen from BCC that is much improved from last week? That is the reason. That is the reason, basically, why they have this 13-point lead. And last week, their offense was so much was so stymied, it wasn't even pretty. A lot of that came down to the zone last week. I think they figured out this zone. They're able to work around it. Their passing game is good. They're getting shots. They're finding people down under. Jose Mercado is once again being Mr. Everything except three pointers. So again, they're just really breaking the zone, and just driving to the hoop and doing what they need to do. Yeah, they're really, really getting that zone. That, that last week, that zone killed them. As we keep it here, timeout on the court. 7:41 left to play here in the first half. It's March Madness. The madness has begun. They're in nitty gritty territory. Yes, it is. This is when basketball season really starts to heat up. This is what we like here. We finally My get done with the dreadful month of February. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Today feels like February, though. Not inside here, though. Here's Ricardo. Ricardo working it. Try to get it down to Baker. Turnover. Mass Bay realizing how deadly Baker is, so they're carding him at all costs. Yes, they are. They're playing. Justin Davis for three. Off the mark. Rebound is Colin Myers. He can't get it up. And Cameron, him and his fox with the rebound. He gets fouled as he was going for the putback. The foul is going to be on Almighty Baker. It's his second of the game. And you don't want to see him get into foul trouble. No, you don't. He is too vital. He definitely is vital, definitely on, vital on the boards, offensive and defensive boards. And like I said, the leading scorer on this Bayhawks team, their most consistent player. In the top 10 in most categories in his career as a Bayhawk. And you can see this season, Armani Baker leads the team in points with 17.1 per game and rebounds with 10 per game. Averaging a double-double, Cameron Jimenez Fox hits on both free throws. BCC will take the basketball out. I want to welcome in all of our viewers watching on the live stream. Hello out there on Facebook Live on the Bristol Community College Athletics page. Also, if you're watching this game recorded on here on FR Media, you're watching postseason basketball. Bacardo gets it blocked. Nice block by McCoy. Boy, is he a weapon down there. And they almost had it. It was a good pass from Luis Rosario. Mercado had the right idea, just got blocked. Yeah. McCoy, has he's very lengthy. 15 coming up on the shot clock. Kyle Jimenez Fox, deep three, puts it up, way off. Not way off, but just off. Here's Quincy Pope. Dump it inside. Jernigan, turn around, ooh. Nice pass. Shooting that. Yeah, nice pass. He, he thought about, he thought twice about it. McCarthy. Mercado, BCC, there it is. Justin Davis in the open court, he'll lay it in. On the pass from Kyle Jimenez Fox. BCC getting sloppy with the basketball, Craig. It looked like BCC just took too long. It looked like they had shots that they could have taken and they just decided to keep passing it. Well, BCC, they were passing up shots and they're trying to get it inside, but, but uh, Be Mass Bay, and there's another turnover. It's another foul on Jernigan. Jernigan having a tough time going against Rasheed McCoy. He's giving up a lot of height there. He's giving up a few inches. And McCoy's a big boy. They get a lot of big boys. Like I said, Jerome Hardy, six foot four. Kyle him and his fox is six foot three. And his brother Cameron him and his fox is six five. They got good interior length, good interior defense. So BCC having a tough time going up against amongst the trees. It was the fox connection. Yeah, the fox connection. Here's Cameron him and his fox. Loses the ball off his foot. Guarded closely by McCarthy. Here's Cameron, drive it to his left. And it's gonna be a foul, another foul on Desmond Jernigan. And Jernigan just not get away from the fouls. You can see it's visually frustrating him. They're gonna call him out for Devontae Holloway. Well, Jernigan's a, um, 
He's a, he's a very, and now, yeah, Coach Rob Del Lou trying to reel him in. I thought uh, I thought Jernigan was going to walk up the court there. That's a deep three by Kyle Jimenez Fox. My goodness. I know it's frustrating to get fouls, especially ones that you don't think are on you, but it's too early in this game for Jernigan to be out of it. No, that's way, yeah, uh, exactly. Holloway is in for him now. Holloway number five. Nice Rosario. bounce pass. Nice bounce pass by Quincy Pope, but Rosario, Rosario too small in there going, going in there against McCoy. And as it was going out of bounds, you saw he tried to save it. I think he was better off letting it go. I think it might have stayed the Bayhawks' way, but he tried to save it instead of letting it go out of bounds. You appreciate his hustle, but yeah, you're right, Craig. Got to be smart about it. BCC playing their man-to-man. -man. Here's Colin Meyer, picks up his dribble. Kyle Jimenez Fox dumps it down to McCoy. Surrounded by Bayhawks. Oh, that ball was almost tipped in. It looked like McCarthy almost tipped it yeah. in. Yeah. That would have been on the not top ball 10. Ball on the floor, loose ball. McCoy comes up with it. Wide left. This game going a million miles an hour. Yeah, Mass, and Mass Bay has picked up the defensive intensity, if you notice. And BCC has been stuck on 23 for like five minutes. And speaking of defensive intensity, Raheem McCoy draws a foul. Or gets a foul. So and it's he's got three. BCC's. Kevin Desire making his game debut. And that's been a long, a long time for Desire to come in. A lot of times Desire has been a starter. One, one of the first players off the bench, second year player Kevin Desire, sophomore, also part of last year's BCC team who made it to the regional final. McCarthy works his way into the paint, short jumper, no good. Good shot, but just couldn't get it to fall. Lebowitz in the open court now. Man, both teams, both teams handling that basketball right, basketball right now like it's a bar of soap. Yeah, both teams trying to go too quick. They know how the other team can play and how they can come right back. So they're just trying to rush things. It's funny, Craig, how we thought that, you know, BCC, they have 23 points on the board. They had 23 points. If you remember when I said this, they had 23 points with about 11.21 on the clock. And I, I said that BCC... Had almost matched had almost matched their total from last from last week's first half when they had 26, and they've been stuck on 23 for about seven minutes now. They wanted to challenge you and see how far they can get with it. Yeah, and and now this game is ending up like last week. It's Mass Bay hanging close. around. Yeah. That that defense that that defensive intensity on the two three zone. Harming. Oh, Mendes gets up, puts it up, and oh, nice play. Nice play by Danny Mendez. Now finally off 25. This can be a momentum change, or a momentum roller at least for BCC. Yeah. yeah, that was a big basket to stop the bleeding. Fox gets it down to his brother Fox. Kyle turns off the glass and in. Both brothers can play in, in and out. And Mass Bay matches. Matches the Bayhawks. They answer the Bayhawks. Labowitz got McCarthy. They'll get it down inside. Nice ball movement. But stole it away from Kyle Jimenez Fox, and then Desire looks like they're going to call him for a tackle. It is going to be on number 3-0, Kevin Desire. Kevin Desire from Providence, Massachusetts. Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, Massachusetts. <laughs> hey, thanks, Greg. Yeah, you might want to. Providence, Rhode Island. Careful about geography. The other, the other Providence. The other Providence. Providence is basically Massachusetts. I mean, you're not wrong. It, it's like Massachusetts. It's like... Rhode Island Pro is just second Massachusetts, at technically third Massachusetts, I guess, because Maine's second Massachusetts. They're like our little cousin. That's what all New England is. Just our cousins? Pretty much. Kyle Jimenez Fox, it's going to be a one on one situation. Kyle Jimenez Fox struggling from the field. Mendez all the way to, th to the hole, can't get it to fall. Holloway lost it. Bass Bay comes up with it. They'll swing it. Labawas for three. Line drive shot. Ugly. Rebounded by Jimenez. He can't get it to fall. Gets it again. Gets it again. Nothing doing. And that ball is going to be, they're going to stay us off the Bayhawks. We talked about the rebounding game last week. Just look at that. Yeah, we were talking about how the Bayhawks were much, much improved on the glass, but right now, Mass Bay, Mass Bay is uh, kind of, oh, there it is, nice, nice inbound play. 
Cameron Jimenez Fox left all alone. Lobotsky gets, gets it to him. And Jimenez Fox drops it home. 25 to 19. Well, it looked like it was going to be a blowout. It's close again. Mendes from the elbow. No good. Tipped up. And looks like it's going to be another foul on Desire. And Kyle Jimenez Fox gets fouled, and he's going to go to the free throw line. And uh, Craig, you don't want the, the Bayhawks, you're hoping that they're not starting to come undone right now because they had a 23 to 10 lead. And um, they scored two points here in the last nearly nine minutes. So it's basically, it's, a nine, it's been a 9-2 run, run for Mass Bay. They've out-rebounded the Bayhawks here in the last eight, nine minutes. And uh, really, they've, they've turned up the, um, the defensive intensity too. That 2-3 zone starting to affect BCC and wear them down again. You know, the zone's been able to adjust to BCC's offense, and they just got to find a way around that again. I know it takes forever, but it goes down. Kyle Jimenez Fox kind of like, kind of like raising the roof because he finally made a shot. <laughs> he hasn't been able to hit from the free throw line or from the field. He's been struggling. Struggling with the jumper. And Fox drops both home. 25 to 21. Just like that. We got a game. Mass Bay has crawled back in. They've made it a game. They're within four. Here we go. Here's Mendes. To Quintal. The jumper. No good. I'm oh, sorry, Espinal. Here's Lobowitz. Lobowitz driver to his right. Loses it out of bounds. He's gonna say it's off the Bayhawks. I believe it was. I believe that was off number 13, Quincy Pope. And early on in this, it looked like all the calls were going Bayhawks' way. You know, remember turnover after turnover, yeah. plus, again, Bayhawks yeah. just getting calls. Now the tide has turned a little bit. Yeah, Mass Bay was turning the ball over. They had about, like, five or six. They'll jump it in. Oh, that was, that oh, was pretty sneaky. Yeah, that was sneaky. Fox lost control of it. Bay, I mean, Mass Bay gets it right back. Him and his Fox gets it to Davis, blocked by Pope. Oh, Pope lost it. He tried to pass it, but he didn't pass it to anybody. And now Mercado gets it, and he'll lose it. And it's going to be Mass Bay basketball. What a, what a whirlwind sequence there. And that went from so bad to so good, back to so bad, so quick for the Bayhawks. Yeah, what a game. Lobowitz from the free throw line. Jumper is no good. He can't make a shot right no, now. Lobowitz trying to take it himself, and it's not working yeah, for him. Yeah, he's not making shots. Mercado. Oh, he is colder than a TV dinner right now. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had a TV dinner. I used to eat them all the time. Then I smartened up. <laughs> <laughs> used to get those banquet dollar meals, those dollar banquet meals, or the hungry man's. When you're on a college budget, it's all you can get. Yeah. Mercado from the free throw line. One on one situation. No nothing doing, can't make the shot. Mercado can't make that outside shot for nothing, whether it's from the free throw line or, or from the field. He's cold as ice. Him and his Fox setting up the offense, driving to his left. Back up to Meyer. Kyle, him and his Fox back with it. Here's Cameron, his brother. Lebowitz crossing over. Fox, jumper in the, in the corner, no good. Rebounded as Kyle, him and his Fox gets it blocked. Cameron ends up with it, and then he's fouled. Looks like it's going to be on number three, Juan Espinal, Jose Espinal. And it is. That's going to be his first foul. 90 seconds remaining. This is going to become, could become a one-possession game. And this game is already as quick as the Bayhawks came out and as much as they dominated from the beginning and Mass Bay was playing sloppy and they turned the ball over like on se seven separate um, occasions, like in a row. The game was right back where it was last week in the first half when the score was 26 to 25 at the end of the first half. It's 25 to 23 now with a minute and 25 left to go. And like, like they say, water seeks its own level. We're right back to where we were. Well, exactly. These two teams have been having more flip-offs. Driving is Pope. Oh, can't get it. Again, Mass Bay looked like it was going to go off on Cameron Jimenez-Fox, but you see him put his hands up trying to avoid contact. 
And again, it goes Mass Bay's way. And like you said, Craig, it's been these, these game have had they've had this, this game has had more flip flops than anything. I never seen two teams that just this flip and flop. Well, it's more flip flops than a suburban dad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the I don't know what the heck that means. Uh, Kyle suburban Hibben. dads wear flip flops. <laughs> I hate flip-flops. Cameron too. loses the basketball. Holloway with a good defensive play, number five. Devontae Holloway punched the basketball out. Good defensive play. 12 on the shot clock. 52.8 seconds left to play here in the first half. Boy, him and his Fox thought about it. Finds Cameron in the corner for three. Off. Oh, tipped up. Labawas has it. Puts up the floater. It's good. Tied at 25. It's that little, little redheaded ant you were talking about. Yeah. And that's what he does. <laughs> 23 on the clock. Here's Pulp. And they're going to call a travel. A little too quick on the first step. Got to put the ball down to the floor first. And they're going to call and they call a travel on Quincy Pope. 25 to 25, tie basketball game. New England Regional semifinal. After at the very beginning of this, BCC's offense looking so silky smooth, it's starting to look more like sandpaper right now. Yeah, that's what that's what Mass Bay's 2-3 zone has done to them. Here's Kyle him and his Fox. Hold it for the last shot. Holloway, loose ball. And this game is going to end in a tie in the first half. Presumably with .6 seconds left to play, Bayhawks basketball. <laughs> Holloway to inbound. Mendez, oh, count if it's good. Out the glass, no Can't good. Can't get it. So close. Close. Mighty ish. Mendez. The shot at the end of the first half is no good. And BCC came out gangbusters with a 23 to 10 lead. They've scored two points in the last 11 minutes, 11 plus minutes, and uh, it's been all Mass Bay for the second for the second portion of the first half. And um, at the half here, 25-25. You're watching a live stream on Facebook Live on the BCC Athletic page, 25 to 25. So for Cardoza. And the Portuguese Cowboy, Craig Salvador, we're going to take this break here at the half. It's a New England regional semifinal between Bristol Community College and Mass Bay Community College. We're all tied up. We'll see you in the second half. All right, we're getting ready to come back here. Welcome, everybody, back here, everybody watching at home on their live stream. It's Cardoza and the Cowboy broadcasting the New England regional semifinal here at Massasoit Community College here in Brockton, Massachusetts. The score is 25 to 25. Craig, you know, we talked about last week's game and how and how the Bayhawks looked so putrid in that first half. Both teams. And the Bayhawks came out like gang but like gangbusters coming out with a 23 to 10 lead here in the first half. The Bayhawks offense looked great. They were moving the basketball, shooting the basketball well from the perimeter, driving to the hole, making things happen. And then in the last 11 minutes and 41 seconds, BCC scored two points, and um, Mass Bay finished on a 15 to two run. So Mass Bay is um, really, really causing havoc with that two three zone again, forcing BCC into all kinds of turnovers, all kinds of mistakes. And uh, really it's been a tale of two halves. Mass Bay control the second part of the first half. So what does BCC need to do? Are they coming undone right now? What do they need to do to kind of reassert themselves? Well, like we said before, BCC came into this game with fire in their eyes, and now Mass Bay's defense has been acting like a bucket of water putting them out. So BCC, they just need to readjust back to the zone like they were early in the game, make their shots, and ultimately just play their game against the zone. And Mass Bay has just been too good on defense now. And BCC has been constantly trying to drive the ball inside and Raheem McCoy, who wasn't even there last week, he has been a factor. You cannot deny it. He's been a factor. He stands at six foot four. He's a big guy, and he's very long, and he's getting blocked shots in there. Mass Bay is collapsing on the Bayhawks when they drive to the hole and try to get inside. They're ripping the ball away from the Bayhawks, and Mass Bay has just been all over the Bayhawks like a cheap suit. 
we said over and over again. So 25-25, get, we're getting ready here for a second half action. You'll be watching this game on FR Media Channel 95 on your dial on Comcast. And for all of our people watching on live stream, here we go. There's Jimenez Fox from the corner. It's no good. Nothing Second new. half is underway. Nothing new. Mass Bay still struggling from the outside. Especially Jimenez Fox. Here we go. In the corner. McCarthy thought about it. Fakes, drives to his left, kicks it back out. Jose, can you? No, can't get it. No, and you wanted to say it so I, bad. I did. I wanted to hear you say it. Yeah, Mercado, he's not. I, I feel like I haven't said it that much in the last few weeks. He's been struggling so much from the outside. We streamed it last week, and we wanted to say it more often this week. For the people giving, giving, me, uh, giving me a hard time on social media, taking it to the hole is him and his box, dropping it up to his brother for the mail. Dropping the mail in is Cameron him and his box, getting the assist from his brother Kyle. Him and his Fox. Him and his Fox with a look what I found kind of play as it just falls into his hands. McCarthy, nice pass down inside to Mercado. Gets it to Baker, but gets his shot altered by Cameron. Him and his Fox. Him and his Fox in the open court. McCoy out to Davis in the corner for three. No good. And just as Justin Davis looking like a wide open, looking like a 24 hour fast food restaurant missing the wide open shot. <laughs> you know, it looked like he was open all day. And Davis usually. Um, can shoot that corner jumper pretty well. He hit a big shot last week um, against Mass Bay down the stretch. Again, the backcourt for Mass Bay doing jumping jacks. Yeah, I was gonna say getting some uh, cardio in, a little yeah. bit of aerobics. Get inside, Armani Baker. And that's usually Baker's see. shot. Yeah, it usually is, and Armani Baker usually plays bigger than his six one, six foot two frame. What do we have him listed at, Armani Baker? Uh, what we have him listed on, the answer is we don't. We do not have <laughs> that kind of stats on uh, here. Armani, Armani Baker is six foot one, six foot two. You and he's here, going folks. up against Dave Cardoza knows. Yeah, he's going up against Rasheem McCoy, who's six foot four and has long arms. He's not able to get that shot off like he usually does. They try to get inside of McCoy. McCoy being guarded by Baker. A little bit of a mismatch. Turn around. Kicks it back out, and they're going to call steps. Yep, I was going to say, I'm surprised they didn't call it on him sooner. It was a travel from a mile away. You could tell Rasheem McCoy is an athlete, but it kind of a little bit of unorthodox with his footwork when he gets the ball down inside. Well, what's interesting is we're seeing him here. We didn't really see him last week. He's coming out of nowhere, and he seemed like a big asset to this team. I'm telling you, he did not play, but, yeah, he's been like a secret weapon, especially on the defensive end. 27 to 25. Mass Bay has the lead. For three, McCarthy off the side of the rim. No good. Rebound by McCoy. And again, you live by the three, you die by the three, and it's not working for BCC. Yeah, there's a lid on it for them. From the free throw line, Lepotwin drains it. With that same shot that sealed BCC's fate last week. And now they're up by four. BCC's going to get their head in the game. What do you want? What we want is You want to lose back-to-back -back weeks against this team? McCarthy. Can't get it up and under, no good. A little too fancy for his own good. Fox, Lepotowicz controls himself, puts it above the glass and in. And down the other end, boy. I believe that's McCoy yeah, laying Rashid, on the ground. Yeah, Rasheed McCoy going down like he was shot. I don't know what happened. Capacity crowd here from the Mass for Massasoit Community College here at the field house. You look at all the banners. Just screams championship. You look at all the banners and all the different sports here at Massasoit, here in Brockton. Big sports culture for the for the Warriors, home of the Warriors here at the gym. And we can see plenty of banners. Yeah, in all different sports, soccer and bait. You know, they get a great baseball program here. Women's basketball, men's basketball. And McCoy. McCoy getting uh, assisted off the court by his coach, Bill Rayner. Coach Rob Del Lue has been with the team, has been the head coach of the team since his inception nine years ago. He's assisted by Frank Stevenson, Brian Fernandez, and Joshua Rogers. He's got a good squad of coaches. They've been competing in Region 21. They've been competing at, a, at the top level at Region 21 for the last several years. They find themselves in this tournament again, trying to make it to the regional final. A lot of time left. 
but they've scored two points here in the last 14 minutes. And they're really just looking to get the ball rolling again. Got to get something going towards the hoop. Got to start shooting well. Here's, here's McCarthy on the drive, kicks it back out. Man, him and his Fox all over him. And the shot clock's winding down. Ricardo, nice up and under move, and boy, they needed that. Jose Mercado with the drive up and under, lays it in. And again, we saw this last week, Jose Mercado, when he can't shoot threes, he can do everything else. Yeah, he needs to step it up here in the second half for sure. Around the perimeter we go. Trying to get inside. They try to get inside to Cameron Fox. Davis kicks it back out. Hardy for three, drains it home. And it's a three-pointer. Saw Jerome Hardy do that last week. And again, it's starting to look like a repeat performance. Wow. And just when you thought BCC had everything figured out. McCarthy kicks it back out. Here's Mendes. Mendes kicks it way back out to McCarthy. Again, shot clock winded down. Ten yeah. on the shot clock. And this is what Mass Bay has been doing, making BCC shot clock wind down. Mercado for three. Off. Man. Can't buy a bucket from the outside. BCC has gone stone cold. Not like Stone Cold Steve Austin either. The Texas Rattlesnake driving to the hole, putting it up on the, on the rim. No good, tipped away. And we wish we could see BCC be like Stone Cold Steve Austin, open up a can of whoop ass on Mass Bay. And try to stomp a mud hole in him. Right now, Mass Bay is stomping a mud hole in the Bayhawks' chest. And Mercado almost with a lazy play, almost lost it. Close. Around the perimeter, here's McCarthy. This is what we've seen some from BCC is they're doing a lot of passing, but they're not getting a lot of shooting and not a lot of scoring. Five on the shot clock, Mendez. Oh, Mendez tweaked an ankle. And Mendez looks like he hurt a knee or an ankle there, and he's limping off into the, way off over there into the field house. And he, he cannot put pressure on that thing right now. And Devontae Holloway will come in to take Mendes' place. Craig, BCC, put this in perspective, BCC um, has scored four points altogether since 11 minutes and 40, it was 11 minutes and 41 seconds when they had 23. They've scored four points since then. We're almost five minutes into this half. You're talking about over 60 minutes of play where they've scored four points. It's, it's and we get a little, we have a little disagreement here on the court. Robinsdale Lou with his hands out. It's gonna be Mass Bay basketball. What happened there, Craig? They just went down for it. They called a jump ball and I believe in now it's Mass Bay's basketball. And it's gonna be possession arrow of for the Robidale Buccaneers. Lou. Looked like the initial call was for it to be Bristol's ball. And then they changed it so it's Mass Bay's. BC still, BCC still in man. And McCarthy almost actually, got a little piece of it. Actually, BCC appears to be in zone now. In the corner for three. Hardy up, going for the rebound. Jernigan. Boy, they need him to get on the boards. Here comes McCarthy pushing it. BCC really just needs anyone to get on the boards. But we know Desmond Jernigan's one of the uh, better, rebound, better rebounders. He's not afraid to get in there and mix it up. And he was in foul trouble in the first half with three fouls. We've seen him get really frustrated there in the first half. Dump it inside. There's Jernigan getting double teamed. Kicks it back out. Pope again, another person we haven't heard too much from this game. McCarthy going for the reverse layup. Drops it home. McCarthy. Where's he, Big Craig? He needs to get his offensive game going. He's usually one of the top offensive catalysts for this team, for this Bayhawks team. Where Marcus McCarthy shines is with his assists. And Hardy BCC. from the corner, rolls out, rebounded by Pope. Marcus McCarthy really shines with his assists, and he just hasn't had the chance to get him. Again, uh, Mass Bay being really tight D, and BCC just can't really buy a basket. And here's McCarthy. Mercado for the short jumper in the corner, no good, tipped up. Rebounded by Kyle Jimenez Fox. Mass Bay dominating the boards. Mass Bay on a 24 to 6 run since 11 minutes and 41 seconds. That's gonna that's, that's gonna be the number that screams out to me. Lebowitz for three. 
Boom. The little redheaded ant puts some more points on the board. Sinks it home. The little redheaded ant, 37 to 29. Starting to get loud in this gym. Again, shot clock winded down. Holloway misses the layup. No good. Real bottom by Kyle Jimenez Fox. Holloway had a clear path to the basket. Should have had two points, but couldn't get it to fall. Davis thought about it. Yeah, he thought about pulling the trigger. 13 minutes left to play. Nine on the shot clock. Here's Lobowitz being grabbed by Pope. Lobowitz pulls it. No good. Rebounded by, by Jernigan. And this is why Jernigan would have been big last oh, week. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass by McCarthy. Pope lays it in. And Pope making his presence feel known, going in for the layup right there, and a nice pass to him. Yes, the two former high school teammates hooking up. This could, ho this could hopefully get the ball rolling for BCC. Lobowitz on the drive. Kicks it back out. Lobowitz in the corner for three. Rolls out, rebounded by Jernigan. Another rebound for him. McCarthy. You give McCarthy space, he's going to take it. But that's the thing. BCC hasn't been able to get in. They haven't been able to get the fast break points, um, Craig, because they haven't been able to get the rebounds. And McCarthy likes to pass. Oh, McCarthy for three. Oh, they needed that. Holloway is there, but he's blocked by McCoy. He's got to pass it away. He can't go under. Re staying with it is Holloway. McCarthy with the hustle, but can't get to it. Cameron him and his box. Holloway did come close on that, but he still he probably should have oh, tried nice to pass, pass it out. Down inside of McCoy. And him and his box with the rebound. You can't give them second chance points. What a nice, nice spin. But in the end, Kyle Jimenez Fox can't get it to fall. And he's frustrated, but BCC got away with one there. This is starting to look less like a basketball game and more like a car crash from both ends of the side. Both teams playing kind of ugly basketball recently. These two teams, when they play together, it is an ugly game. 11.42 left to play. A lot of time for BCC. BCC not playing their best basketball, but they're hanging in right there. And it's only six, but this game is making it look like it's a bigger deficit than six. Yeah, the way that BCC's playing on the offensive end, six points seems like 26. Yeah, I was just going to say, it makes it look like they're down by 20 rather than six. Who's your go-to guys right now? Who can, get it, who can get it going? We know who can get it going, Craig, because we've seen it all season. Well, Jose Mercado down low has been dangerous, and Marcus McCarthy he, is the best passer on this team. You'd think that'd be a good combination, but it just hasn't been working. Pope for three. Man, they cannot shoot it. Marcus McCarthy, the little man with the rebound. Yeah, McCarthy with the rebound. Drive it to the hole. Cross-court pass to Mercado. New shot clock. Here's Mercado. The Jernigan back out. Working against the zone, Mercado pounds it home. So Going strong to the hole is Mercado for the deuce. Something I feel we haven't seen in a while is the Baker man. Armani Baker hasn't really been seen. And that's another guy, a key guy, their top guy this year. Driving to the hole is Hardy, and they're going to call steps. And boy, BCC needed that turnover. That is the break BCC needed, and they're going to get the ball. If you're BCC right now, this is the time. you got to show your will. A lot of time left to play. You're down four. Impose your will. Show your heart and determination. It's all blood, sweat, and tears from this point. Where's your pride at? BCC trying to get some give and go action. Jernigan back out. Here's McCarthy. Ricardo, he's the guy, puts it up off the glass, doesn't can't get it to fall. Another rebound by him in his box. He's had a lot of rebounds today. He's almost ran out of his shoes, almost lost it. Oh, look at Cameron. Boy, he looks like a D1 player out there. The way just his whole build. McCoy can't get it, can't get it to go. There's the Pope to come down with it. Here's McCarthy. McCarthy driving. Kicks it back out. Jose, can you three? Boom! There it is. And that is a big confidence booster for BCC. Big confidence booster for BCC within one. Still a lot of game to play, and Jose Mercado found his three-point stroke. 37 to 36. They're within one. 
I've been waiting for it, Craig. Waiting for it, waiting for it. And there can, it was. I can see you jittering in your seat waiting to call it. <laughs> Twisty towards the hoop. It's Hardy. Off the side of the backboard. Bayhawks up with it. McCarthy. Bayhawks looking for the lead. Here's Pulp. Short jumper. It's good. Bayhawks got the lead. 38 to 37. It's going to get live up in here. A great job by Pope creating space, just stepping in, putting up an easy two, and giving BCC their first lead in a while. That's it. Bayhawks looking to take that fade to the Dirty River. Fall River, home of the Braga Bridge. Home of the Bayhawks. Oh, give it go. Here it is. And Cameron, Cameron him and his Fox with a pass from McCoy. And we have a chance to see some seesaw basketball. 39 to 38. Holloway diving, going, driving right into the big man. You, you know who McCoy reminds me of, Craig? He reminds me a lot of like a, like a Dikembe Mutombo. Just kind of raw, can block shots, and you're kind of you're kind of like leery going inside against him because he's gonna he's gonna give you he's gonna wave that finger in your face and <laughs> smack that stuff out of your smack that stuff out of there. I wonder if he talks like Dikembe Mutombo. <laughs> I think he does. Dikembe Mutombo. Lebowitz, follow away jumper from the corner. Wow. Wow. Drops it in the net. 41 to 38. And that shot so shocking, Holloway couldn't help but fall to the ground. Yeah. Oh, Pope. Oh, Pope lost it. Pope was looking for a free for a foul line jumper and lost the basketball. Might have been looking for Mercado. He had his hands up. He was wide open in the corner. Look at McCoy. Back out. Cameron taking his time. Cameron, him and his Fox, he's got that good inside-outside game. We haven't seen too much of it today. He really has struggled on the offensive end. Working in inside. Cameron, him and his Fox. No, can't get it. McCoy, McCoy almost had it. it. Here's Pope driving to the hole. He's going to get the foul. And he does get the foul. Looks like he was going to hand off to Jaren again, but tried to go up for it himself. I'm telling you, how much does McCoy change this game? Because I think if he's not in there, BCC is going to challenge um, Mass Bay a lot more inside. They, it seems like when they get inside, they're just they just don't know what to do when he when the big man steps up and you know challenges them up from the defensive end. It just looks like they start they start to um, kind of think of, think twice about wanting to go inside against them. We talked about Desmond Jernigan coming back that could give BCC really an edge over Mass Bay, but then Mass Bay they had an ace up in their sleeve in the form of uh, McCoy. Yeah. So he's really been their answer to Desmond Jernigan. He really has. Both free throws sunk by Pope. Two big free throws there. Under eight minutes left to play. Getting hot up here on the inside. Here in the field house at Massasoit Community College. Home of the Warriors. And the Warriors fell to Bunker Hill earlier today. Yes, they did. Cameron Jimenez Fox pulls up. Jumper's no good, gets his own rebound. Works it up inside, off the glass and in. Way to stay with it for Cameron him and his Fox. Mercado with a head full of steam, almost losing it. Just kind of threw it over his shoulder. Yeah, he loses the ball out of bounds. You know, Jose Mercado, when he gets the basketball, he sometimes he seems like he's a little bit unorthodox. You see the kind of, you kind of see like the hair flopping around and you're like, what the heck is he doing? And then he starts dropping dimes in the bucket. I think they're going to call a foul on McCoy. No, they're going to call a foul on number 33. They're going to call it on I'm Colin Myers. And what is that? They're going to call a push on Desmond Jernigan, I think. Are they going to call it on? No, they're going to call it on Devontae hey, Holloway. Holloway. Yeah, his second. Two baths could have been a big possession for BCC. Yeah, BCC, one possession game. Can't give away possessions at this time. Spinning in the lane is Kyle Jimenez Fox, and the referee calls a travel. Interesting back and forth. Craig, what the heck is up with this offensive game? We're talking about two teams, two good teams. The Bayhawks, one of the better scoring teams in the New England region. They average in the 80s. Both teams in the 40s right now with seven minutes and 11 seconds left. Um, very, very sketchy offensive basketball being played right now. 
Exactly. And we see Armani Baker back in, who is the leading scorer and probably the overall best player for BCC. And, and he's just outmatched on the inside right now. McCoy has been a difference. If you can remember last week, Armani Baker really came in uh, the last, really the last few in minutes. The, in, in the second half, it started scoring, yeah. So I'd like to see him start doing that. And we got Marcus McCarthy, who's McCarthy has the best driving. pass game. Back out to Jose. Can you too short. air ball? Too short. Wow. It's like a kid on a roller coaster ride. It was just way too short. And he was wide open on that shot. That was, that's tough to see right there. That ball was, that ball didn't even hit the air. I think he's too big in, I think he's too much in his head. He's really like trying to focus, like I need to make this three. And he's just thinking too much about it and missing every one. It just seems like when BCC gets in the postseason, they start thinking too much of the moment. From the top, no good. Pope, Pope with the miss. Oh, Jernigan with the big, with the big blue collar points there. Getting the rebound, BCC will set, reset the shot clock here. Six and a half to play. Drive it to the hole, going up. McCarthy kicks it back out to Mercado. Mercado from the, misses way off, way off. Yeah, In-step jumper, just wide. Inside the three-point mark, misses it. And Mass Bay is giving BCC opportunities because on, on the offensive end, they're not any better right now. They're, they're just slightly better right now. Lobowitz on the drive, kicks it back out to Myers. Set shot, three-pointer is good. Colin Myers, where'd he come from? Sounds like Colin Myers, he sounds like he should be a late night talk show host. <laughs> Just a late night show with Colin Meyer. I could see that happening. For three. And again, six points, and six points seeming like a much bigger lead than it actually is. Again, yes. And BCC just struggling to take a lead, struggling to get points on the board. Didn't it seem like they just had a lead? How brief was that? BCC just took a lead at 38-37. to 37. Jose Mercado had the three. Quincy Pope, um, Quincy Pope gave them the lead to make it 38-37. to 37. And after that, you know, BCC falling apart again. Yeah, they lost the lead as quick as they got it. Yeah. It seems just like, just like, just when BCC gets right there and, and crawls, Right back within striking distance, Mass Bay goes on a, on a little mini run, and that's exactly what happened. It was 38 to 37, BCC took the lead, and ever since then, Mass Bay, the Buccaneers, on a nine to two run here in the last couple minutes, and we have six minutes to play. BCC down six with six, to, with six minutes to play. Both teams aren't really in foul trouble. Both teams with only four team fouls each, so. BCC needs to step up their defense. They need to get points off their defense. That's what they've done all year. Because right now, McCoy's sitting down there. Cameron him and his Fox is sitting down there. Mass Bay is out rebounding Bristol Community College. Mass Bay, Bayhawks got to get, they got to get the rebounds and they got to start going, Craig. They got to, they got to start pushing the basketball. They're better when they're in transition. When they're in the half court offense, especially against this 2-3 zone, their offense just stalls. They need to keep, they need to be in transitional offense. Yeah, Mass Bay has had um, the Bayhawks number this season. Mass Bay is 3-0 and throughout this season against the Bayhawks. Yes, they are. They swing it. Pope drives it to the hole, puts it up. Oh, can't get it to go. And again, no, and it's going to stay for Bristol. And you can see, Craig, BCC, they're thinking twice about the outside shots now. Now they're driving to the hole, and they can't, they can't get it to fall. Their shots, are being, their shots are being altered by, their, by the very, very tall, very lengthy Mass Bay Bucks inbounding. Here's Mercado. BCC, this is a big possession for them right now. Here's McCarthy. Back out to Pope. And again, Mercado. they can pass all they want, but they don't, they're not putting points Here's on the board. Here's Jose Mercado for three! There we go, just Jose, as I say that. You? There we go, just as I say that, that's exactly what they needed. Bombs away from Ricardo. Coming up on five to play, trailed by three. The Bowitz throws it up, throws it up Baker, but not hard enough. Took an interesting bounce and that really went nice the Bayhawks way. Nice pass by McCarthy, driving to the hole, Ricardo, he gets fouled and he'll go to the line. We saw what Zach Lebutwitz was trying to do. Marcus McCarthy did it earlier, but it took like an awkward, uh, an awkward shot off of Armani Baker's shin and was able to roll to BCC. Yes, yes, yes. 5.02 left to play. Mercado 
Steps up to the line for two. Sinks that first one calmly. And we talked about BCC. Where is their offense going to come from? That, that's something that we haven't said all year. They, got, they have a very, very deep, very, very deep team full of guys that can put the ball in the bucket. And that's a miss right there. Going the other end, Kyle Jimenez Fox, all out of sorts. Will be Fonz Lebowitz. Seems like Mass Bay has a bunch of guys that can run the point. Kyle Jimenez Fox in the post. Lebowitz, not afraid to shoot it. That bounces out, rebounded by the, by the talk show host. And he gets fouled. And it looks like he's going to go to the line. They're going to say it's in the act of shooting. This is weird. It looked like it was just on a rebound. It didn't exactly. really look like he was going up for it. Yeah, it didn't look like he was going up for the shot there. Now, I don't know about that one. Colin Meyer will step up to the line. And he sinks the first free throw to give the Buccaneers a 47-44 lead. You're watching this New England Regional Semi-final, both free throws, nice release. Nice shot there, nice shots by Colin Meyer, hitting both free throws, 48 to 44. They'll get inside Jernigan, off the glass and in. There we go, that's what we need to see from Jernigan. McCoy looked like he kind of shied away from that, like he didn't want to follow him, and Jernigan, not scared, puts it above the glass. It was Meyer. interesting, because it looked like Jernigan had all the time in the world. Yeah, he did. Usually Mass Bay playing very tight defense. Bayhawks really need to turn up now. Ten on the shot clock. Bounce. Oh, nice pass by. Oh, nice pass. Nice jump stop. And a pass by Kyle Jimenez Fox gets it inside. That gets Mass Bay to the half century mark. Ooh, they're going to say that ball's off Mass Bay. They're going to say that Cameron Jimenez Fox knocked that ball out of bounds. Lucky for the Bayhawks, it almost looked like Mercado lost it. 50 to 46. Here's Quincy Pope. Boy, you like to see him start getting off. Here's Jernigan at the top, puts it up, off the glass and in. Oh. It might be Desmond Jernigan time. And that is his shot, and we want to see it more and more. DJ, yes. Someone has to step up. It might just be Desmond. 50 to 48. Again, absent from last week and really want to see him this week. Yeah, if you're watching on live stream, don't go away. Don't go away. Bayhawks. Oh, there's a nice screen there. Kyle Jimenez Fox puts it up. I don't know what he was doing there. Losing the basketball. Here comes McCarthy. McCarthy in the open floor. McCarthy puts it up. What a block. What a block by Cameron Jimenez Fox. Cameron Jimenez Fox blocking him like a Twitter hater. <laughs> Marcus McCarthy just taken out by the bigger man. Yeah, he blocked him like a he definitely blocked him like a Twitter hater. Blocked him like something. He came out of nowhere and swore the hell out of him. 50 to 48. Yeah, he we'll said Marcus McCarthy buzzing like a bee and just gets swatted. Buzzing like a Bristol bee, but RIP to the former name. Oh, getting inside. Jernigan using his body. Puts it up and in. Ties the game. And th that's what Desmond Jernigan does. You remember the game against Gateway. Jernigan was so crucial in the final moments. He was so clutch. It was something very similar to that. And he has a knack for getting those three-point plays and three-point play opportunities, at least. And he has a chance to get BCC the lead. And he does. Desmond Jernigan. And as we've seen from the Super Bowl, it doesn't matter who has the lead most, it matters who has the lead last. Exactly. Your last. Under three minutes to play. BCC has the lead. Fox driving to his left. Try to muster one up. Can't get it to go. They got to call a foul on him and his Fox. And Jimenez Fox threw up a prayer, just hoping for a best case scenario. It just did not work out for him. He came down with it, then they're calling travels on him. Cameron Jimenez Fox. He, um, it's actually not a travel, it's a foul. Yeah, yes, yes, it was a foul. He pushed him in the back going for the offensive board. And I believe BCC, is they're going to have a chance to be in the, uh, the bonus right now. That's 17 fouls. That's a 17 foul on the Buccaneers. So BCC will be in a one and one situation right now where Marcus McCarthy going to the line. We know how BCC, BCC is from the line. Most everyone can shoot foul shots. 
And talking about number 23, uh, Cameron him and his Fox, the Mass Bay star, he just finds a way to get to the hole. He's six foot five. He has good handle from the outside. He finds a way to manufacture shots down inside. He, he's able to post. Um, not playing his best game today, but. Oh, that. Marcus McCarthy usually smooth from the free throw line. That one just rolls out. BCC up one. Kyle Jimenez Fox driving to the paint. Back up to Myers. Finds the talk show host. <laughs> the talk show host. And I think that's going to be on Jernigan. And they're going to call a foul on Jernigan, even though it looked like him and his Fox was throwing elbows. And this is when it gets tough. That's going to be Jernigan's fourth with still 2.30 left in a very close game. Yes. One more foul by BCC, and Mass Bay will be in the bonus. Labowitz, Laguna inbound. Bayhawks playing good D. Just getting inside McCoy. Jernigan on McCoy. McCoy going to the basket, puts it home. And who are they going to call it on? And they're going to call it on Desmond Jernigan. And that means he is going to be out of this game. Oh, and that stinks right now because he's right now he's the hottest Bayhawk right now. And I believe they're going to call it on our, they're going to call it on Armani Baker. That's his third. So they don't call it on Jernigan. That's lucky for him. That is very lucky for Desmond Jernigan. Man, McCoy looked like he was way out of control on that drive to the basket. Yeah, I was getting ready for offensive foul. Oh, he did not call it. You got to call Glass. <laughs> What the heck is going on there? Mass Bay up by two, 220 to play. Don't go away. You can see the look on concern of both teams' benches. Nitty gritty time. It's money time right now. Bayhawks being patient against the, against the zone for the Buccaneers. Here's Ricardo. Shot clock oh, lining down. Someone needs to, to do something. Up, puts it up, and he's going to get fouled. Almost got the luckiest shot in the world to go in. The refs are being, yeah, that would have been, that would have been huge. I'm not sure if Lobowitz was having words. I'm not sure what's going on. I think he's arguing with a fan. Yeah, it's totally not worth it. Coming no, you into don't want to give up a technical for that, especially with this tight of a lead. Coming into the game right now, is uh, Hardy, Jerome Hardy, the six foot four freshman. Man, he's only a freshman. He looks like a grown man out there from New Britain, Connecticut. He checks into the game. I feel like he's been taking an extended absence. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, exactly. Ricardo drains the first free throw. And I, I think that the, the refs are going to start getting tight with their whistles right now. Seems like that's what they're doing. So if you're BCC, drive to the basket. They're going to call a foul. They're going to call something. Exactly, you see that work down Jose Mercado's favor. Getting loud in here, Mercado shuts up the crowd. Mercado with cold blood thrown through, going through his veins, sinking so both tying it up. There's no doubt about that. Mercado sinks both free throws, and we'll keep it, we'll keep it here since we are live streaming. This is when it gets real dangerous. Both teams now in the bonus. Tied up, two minutes left. Yes, yes, yes. For all you people out there watching, watching the live stream, it's Cardoza and Salvador. David Cardoza and Craig Salvador, otherwise known as the Portuguese Cowboy. Is it past 8 o'clock yet? Uh, not quite yet. It's only 7.30. All right. After 8 o'clock, we know he, the Portuguese Cowboy turns into the Portuguese Terror. <laughs> and speaking of the Portuguese Terror, speaking of the Portuguese Cowboy, uh, be, looking, be looking here in the future um, after... After the Easter holiday, the Dirty Water Sports Hour is going through a resurrection, no pun intended, with the Easter holiday coming up. After Easter, we're going to we're going to spike some life into the Dirty Water Sports Hour. It's going to be Card it's going to be Cardoza and the Portuguese Cowboy and FR Media's own Lucy Cabral. Yep, the so C team, better C known as team. the Dream Team. Yes. If you're looking for that, that's on bccradio.org. It's the Bristol Community College station. Yep, and even if that, if you still can't get enough of me and Dave, you can go online to youtube.com forward slash Bristol Community College. Catch up on all the games showing how the Bristol Bayhawks got this far into the playoffs and really in the season in general. 
and just recap the whole season. Exactly, you're watching the Bayhawks Broadcasting Network and also talking about the Dirty Water Sports Hour. You can catch that show on Thursdays at 4 p.m. on, on bccradio.org. All right, here we go. 150 to play. Tie game, 53-53. New England Regional semifinal. And this is when the blood pressure starts to rise. This is what it's all about. Who's going to go on to face Bunker Hill? Bayhawks want that rematch draft. They want it bad. Yep. The jumper. It's good. Hardy, the three-pointer. Referee puts his hands up. It's good. Wow, that's a big shot by Jerome Hardy. Yep, less than 90 seconds left. Got BCC got to do something big. Mercado for three. Can't get it. But the rebound is put back by Pope. Nobody boxed him out. Yep, no big one wants shot. To, no one wants to draw a foul. It's an easy put back from Quincy Pope. Exactly. Where was Mass Bay on the boards there? And if you look at, if you look at Mass Bay, there's no Rasheem McCoy in there. Here's Cameron him in his box. He's the go-to guy. And there we Under are. Under a minute. Oh and my goodness! Devontae They're gonna call a Holloway. foul on Holloway away from the ball. Devontae Holloway through the season has been prone to that. Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that right now. Both teams in the bonus. Both teams shooting one-on-ones. Both teams with 18 fouls. And pretty much all you can hope for is he's going to miss. And he does miss. That's a big miss. Rebound by Pope. And that miss might have just saved Holloway's life. <laughs> 50 seconds left to play. Down by one. Don't want to play hero ball, but someone's going to be a hero. And that's a good timeout. I Smart think that's call. a good timeout. Calm your team down. Come out of the break. Talk to your team. Lower the blood pressure. Minimize the moment, but maximize the moment at the same time. I like the timeout. I like the call there by uh, Coach Robbie D. And we have a full house. We have a packed house here in the field house, Craig. We got the, uh, we got the AD. We got Mr. Derek Baveros, the head honcho. We got him in attendance there. Also, pre ke President Jack Spraga. All the Bayhawk celebrities, including, uh, including my humble self. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and the Portuguese cowboy, the biggest celebrity of all. Oh, totally. So you could just see I appeared on the I Love Lucy show <laughs> on Friday. You can catch that every Friday at... I believe it's 11, I believe it's 10 actually. Yep, 10, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., catch that every Friday. Yes, the I Love Lucy show. Yep. I was on the I Love Lucy show too. Good show. It's a very good show. But now back to basketball. 40 seconds to play. 10 on the shot clock. BCC trails by one. Five on the shot clock. McCarthy picks up his dribble. Gotta do something. They need that to get off, that's a bad pass. And the ball was cut away at the steal. Armani Baker Loose looking ball. very sneaky. Oh, that was bad. Oh. Carthy almost. Mass Bay almost losing it. It's getting kind of chaotic. Oh, the shot. Mass Bay might just be looking to hang on to it. What's going on? Jimenez Fox gets it back out. Jimenez Fox flying. And he's down. What did the referee just call? They're going to call a foul on Jose Mercado, I believe. And who's that down on the ground? That's, yeah, that's uh, Cameron. I think it's Kyle? Is that, yeah, is that Cameron? It's one of the Jimenez no, Fox. No, it's Kyle brothers. Jimenez it's Fox. It's Kyle Jimenez Fox, the little fox. Little with quotations. The little sly fox. You know, we call him a little fox. He's only an inch shorter than his brother. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's like, yeah. Cameron, Hino Cameron Jimenez Fox goes to 6'5", and he's a sophomore. Kyle Jimenez Fox is 6'3". Uh, he's a freshman. Not actually little as you think he is. Six foot three, and he can get in out. He can get in out. He can get in there and rebound. You know, with the best of them. And there's going to be a timeout on the floor here. Goodness gracious. BCC has been so close so many times. They've been to this regional tournament so many times. I mean, they have a chance to go to their, and we have. Looks like a technical. A technical foul? Well, maybe they're saying and it's what too did rough we on the other end. I have no idea. 
Him and his fox. Rolls it around and in. He's giving a little, giving little you a little like that nod. to the crowd. And again, again, uh, Craig, we've seen another huge technical foul that could be the difference of the game. We've seen the same thing last week. Remember that big four-point swing? And he sinks both free throws, giving them a one-possession lead and the basketball. Or is he going to have a chance to shoot free throws too, like we've seen last week? This could he be. He has the chance to shoot free throws too, and he can make at least kill, one of them. This could kill them. If he can I'm, make one of them, it could be the final nail in the coffin of the Bayhawks season. I'm not even sure what the what. I'm not even sure what the technical foul was, but what a big mistake! The only thing I can think of is the foul was on Jose Mercado, which was his first of the game, which is kind of a, kind of hard to believe, but his, it might have been the most crucial foul in this game. And they might have just said he went too hard. I don't know. Cause you did see Menes Fox just get thrown to the ground he, at the other end. Well, you wonder if he called, if the if referee called the foul, do you wonder if Mercado made a said, said something? Either way, the technical foul is on Mercado, right? Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Again, and Mass Bay. The look of it, emotions might be just getting the best of the Bayhawks once again. Stunning. Mass Bay came, I mean, um, your Bristol Community College Bayhawks, they came out guns a blazing. They came out 23 to 8. I mean, that was a score. Actually, at one point it was 23 to 6. They came out 23 to 6 run. You know, Bayhawks were playing great early on, virtually did nothing from the second half of the first half, and really the first half of the second half. And then at the very end, they started coming back, and again, Mass Bay might just be taking out their lead just way too much. You know, Mass Bay might have done all they need to win this game. And if, especially if Jimenez Fox is going to be shooting foul shots on top of the technical. Yes, and that's the same exact thing. We're seeing deja vu being played all over again in this game. Unbelievable, man. Crazy. Unbelievable. And this, is not, this would be such a bad way to see the Bayhawks season end. Stupid. It's just stupid. I mean, what can you say? Well, we're going to keep it right here. 13.8 seconds left. This one, this one isn't over. But a free throw, one free throw can, can make it over. <laughs> right? Because, I mean. Exactly. It turns into a two-possession ball game. Yeah. And even then, BCC, they need a three, which they've been struggling with. It looks like either way they're going to need a three. E either way they're going to need a three, Craig. They might need a miracle. Is he going to the line? And Kyle Jimenez Fox, who has struggled. And actually, okay, they're going to they're gonna get the ball. They need a steal. They need a steal. They need a Larry. They need a Larry Bird steal right now. Steal in the inbound pass. Well, ball was looking inbound the looking inbound the ball, and that's not the guy you want to foul. That is not the guy you want to foul, because Colin Meyer has a very nice, sweet stroke from the free throw line. And and Mass Bay is now in the double bonus. Ten, ten team fouls for BCC right now. So Colin Meyer is actually going to go to the line for a legitimate two right now. And he gets that, he gets the friendly roll, the soft touch, gets it to bounce through the twine. And that has a chance to put it away. And BCC, BCC's postseason run could end going 0-2 in the postseason. Again, every game, every game against Mass Bay has just been so close. They need close. a three. Yes, it has. They need a three. They'll, they'll put it up. Just put it up. Just do it. Don't waste time. Just do McCarthy it. McCarthy shoots the three. Puts it up off the glass. Too much. Wide of the mark. That's going to be it. And the Buccaneers will be playing Bucker Hill tomorrow for the New England Regional Championship. And the Bayhawks once again lose to Mass Bay in consecutive weeks in a semifinal matchup. And the Mass Bay crowd doing the dance. And the Buccaneers are excited about it. And they'll face the number one team in New England in Region 21. And that's it. Some respect here as both teams. Again. Both teams hugging it out here. Great competitive ball game. Mass Bay just a little bit better than BCC here today. And just throughout the season, Mass Bay has been BCC's kryptonite throughout their whole season, going 4-0 and now against, against our team, against BCC. Unreal. Crazy. And you, it's and crazy you talk how both these, team, both these last games have ended. 
Yeah, so that's it, 60 to 55. Not exactly the way you wanted to end the season. Not exactly the way you, you want to end the season. It's, it's a shame that the Bayhawks had to lose this game. They came out and it looked like they were gonna blow Mass Bay out of the gym. Mass Bay, Mass Bay was all out of sorts. The Bayhawks were moving the basketball crisply, getting the ball inside. They were hitting shots. Danny Mendez, he was big. He was hitting three pointers. And BCC came out with a 20, 23 to six run. And then Craig, it seemed like time just stopped for BCC because with 11 minutes and 41 seconds, we've said it all game, BCC struggled. They scored two points in the rest of that half. And even throughout the game, BCC, they never had less than an 11-point deficit. Bleed was never that far away from them, but from the way they're playing, you may think they had 30 points on them. Exactly. I mean, Mass Bay had the lead by six, you know, constantly up by four, by five, by six, and it just seemed like it was just a – a ways away for BCC. BCC just couldn't get over the hump. They could not shoot the basketball from the outside. That's the story. And Mass Bay, they just took over on the, they just took over on the glass. You know, they got too many big guys. They got too many big guys. BCC just outmanned. Just, I mean, just man to man, just outmanned on the boards. I mean, the Mass Bay is just a just men amongst boys out there when it came on the glass, and you you can't sugarcoat it. Yeah, exactly, and it's crazy with the last two games, both going down to the play you really wouldn't think it would go down to, but really just coming down to technical fouls. Yeah. Playing that's a huge role in both games and yeah. being a huge reason why BCC isn't going to be moving on in either postseason tournament. And that technical foul really cost them. They were down one point there, and those two uh, technical foul shots by, uh, by Mr. Kyle Jimenez Fox, who wasn't sinking foul shots all game, sinks the two biggest uh, you know, free throws of his definitely of his of his young career so far so BCC losing again once again uh, to uh, to Mass Bay this time with bigger stakes they lose 60 to 55 so we need a Bayhawks player of the game and um, who's our Bayhawks player of the game gonna be that's kind of a tough one is it I want to say it was Desmond tough. I want to say it was Desmond Jernigan again because he really came up big with about seven well that good handful of points there down the stretch um, one of them was a three-point play to actually give BCC the lead. So um, Desmond Jernigan, after he missed the bus <laughs> last week. You don't need to throw him under that bus no, that he missed. No, he made, he made the trip this week, and you could see how much he meant to this team on the boards and just with his physicality and everything else. So Desmond Jernigan, you want to say he's a Bayhawks player of the game? I mean, I, I would agree with that. You know, I was thinking either him or Jose Mercado, who oh. still played big from inside the, uh, the three-point line, not really outside, but hey, I still can, am very um, – I think that Desmond Jernigan is a pretty good recipient for it. Hey, you there you so can I make think him he the, deserves it. Yeah, we'll say Desmond Jernigan is our Bayhawks player of the game. So we thank every each and every one of you for for chiming in and watching our live stream here on the uh, Bristol Community College Athletics uh, page. So uh, the Bayhawks season is over, and um, in stunning fashion, they lose to Mass Bay, and uh, that's it. But um, be looking for these Bayhawks games on YouTube. You can uh, recap the season, or you can go on FR Media. And, um, or you can you know, watch the games on FR Media on Channel 95 or your dial. And, um, and that's it. So it's been another great season. It's been a great season broadcasting the games with you, Craig. Be yep. looking forward to having you on the Dirty Water Sports Hour. Rejuvenated, renewed, revitalized, and rebuilt. resurrected. Rebuilt. Re rebuilt, reclaimed. <laughs> All right. So for Cardoza and the Portuguese Cowboys, you've been watching Bayhawks basketball. Mass Bay walks out of here for a winner. They'll be playing Bunker Hill for the regional, the New England Regional Championships. Thank you all for watching this live stream, and have a good night.